So we did it, right? We finally have a 3D Kirby game, and it's amazing. Like seriously, it's probably one of my favorite games on the Nintendo Switch. But of course, we always have to do this every time a new game releases because I'm greedy and I want to see more. I can't help but already think about the next Kirby game after playing this game because it was phenomenal. I mean, yes, we can sit here and talk about DLC all we want, but at the end of the day, my mind keeps wondering what the heck is How Labs gonna do next? Like, what next is Kirby gonna put his mouth on? Well, today I have a bunch of things that I want to talk about where Kirby can go next. The next place for how labs to take kirby and how forgotten land really set up the future for kirby and some great things to come the first thing i'm going to talk about is will the next kirby game be 2d or 3d and i'm going to just straight up say it kind of has to be 3d we've seen 2d kirby our entire lives literally our entire kirby career we need something you know fresh again and 3d kirby seems to be hitting it off well i mean it's already got like the most sales out of any kirby game ever 2d kirby i don't think you're dead but you need to take a break for now, because I think a 3D Kirby is in. Now let's say in 3-4 to four years, we do get another 3D Kirby, and what style exactly would that be in? Would it continue in the same 3D style that it is now? Right now, it has what I call the 3D world effect, where it is a set camera with a linear stage design, where you pretty much go from the beginning to the end of the stage with a couple of secrets hidden along the path, but overall, you can't really get off the beaten path. It's a very strict 3D platformer, but that's not a bad thing at all. I think 3D World does its own thing and it's really, really good. Now, I do think the next 3D Kirby game is going to stay within those boundaries because it just started off in 3D, but I think they could expand it even more and eventually give us a more open world slash sandbox style similar to Mario Odyssey. I don't think Kirby should ever be truly open world, but more sandbox. I think giving Kirby a world to explore would be really cool. Now, what would a truly sandbox Kirby world look like? Well, for one, the camera would follow after Kirby from behind this time around, instead of a set position. You can control the camera and look at the world in a 360 degree view, which is something that is very important when you have a open world 3D platformer like this. Being able to view the world from every viewpoint, looking around and finding secrets and nooks and crannies, and just being able to move wherever Kirby wants, instead of being confined to only moving left to right or up and down. Kirby is also also infamous for hidden secrets and I mean seriously probably one of the best Nintendo games ever for hiding collectibles and stuff for you to find because that stuff really ties into the gameplay and for the one of the first times it's not really required to beat the game to collect all these things yet it's still so much fun to find them and if they can do that really well in a 2d Kirby game and even a limited linear 3d game then I can only imagine what a sandbox Kirby game could do they could have secrets hidden everywhere in little caves and little nooks that you gotta literally search for that would be so much fun. That would really bring the collectibles of Kirby to life even more. And that's something How Labs already does well. So I couldn't imagine how well it would be, obviously, in a 3D space. And that even goes for Easter eggs. We know How Labs loves to throw in little secrets and little Easter eggs here and there in their levels. And could you imagine just finding Easter eggs hidden within a world just because you explored really well? I mean, seriously, they have blue coins that appear just because you jumped on a couple of pillars. I couldn't imagine what they could do in a fully open world or at least a small open world. I think this type of Kirby would also affect the dynamic of the battles and also the boss battles as they would be bigger and more enlarged. They are already really good in this 3D space, but I think they'd be even better in a fully open world or once again sandbox style where you can move around and get in every different type of angle of the boss and see the boss in different types of angles. I can't really explain, but I think this would add a lot more depth into the boss battle as well because maybe you could just see different portions of him and maybe attacks utilize this new camera movement and I think it would just really, you know, heighten the battle system within the game itself. This next Kirby game, we could also just have more copy abilities. I feel like there weren't many, and even the copy abilities we got only had around two or three attacks. I would love to see just simply more abilities added to the game from past Kirby games. We don't have Feather or Leaf or Ninja even. There's still so many classic copy abilities we haven't seen really technically in a 3D space, and I would love to see them come in the next installment. Obviously, just adding more, just having us have like 25 to 30 different copy abilities, and of course, fleshing them out is a big important key too. But I would also love for copy abilities that we already have to be fleshed out a lot deeper. I mean, for instance, all the abilities that we 
have only have about two or three attacks. Let's just take fire for instance that really can just shoot fire and then do the dash attack. I know at the end of the day it's fire and abilities like fire are not going to have many things you can do. Could you imagine them adding wheel? How many attacks could you have besides move? But I feel like they could come up with new ones even though there isn't like history of different attacks with fire uh, besides maybe Kirby jumping in the air and spinning around breathing fire out or maybe setting himself on fire. They could come up with some new ones for sure. I do also wonder what the next gimmick could be for Kirby and it feels like every Kirby game there's some type of different thing that Kirby can do besides obviously just having his copy abilities. Return to Dreamland had super abilities and then Triple Deluxe actually had the Hypernova where Kirby could once again just suck up anything in any size and then we had Planet Robobot which gave Kirby Mechabot armor which was pretty cool and he can use the armor to also use different copy abilities which was still probably one of my favorite things they've ever done and then obviously with Star Allies the mechanics was like friendship which was terrible I'm sorry it was but now that we have the forgotten land we had mouthful mode where Kirby can just put his mouth on dirty objects so what could they do next I'm not sure honestly they've done a lot of things but there's still so much they could do I bet maybe this time Kirby can actually stretch and mold his body to be different forms and kind of look like different people or something or maybe Kirby's mouth this time blows instead of sucks I don't know but how about the story slash location for this next Kirby after the forgotten land where are we gonna go well maybe we'll return to dreamland and I'm not talking about the Wii game for instance, we've never really seen Dreamland in a 3D, you know, space, and I know a lot of people are tired of the same areas in Dreamland, but seeing them in 3D would actually change things up drastically, and seeing the world that we know and love from our childhood for the first time in a new fashion would be really, really cool. Imagine seeing King Dedede's castle in a fully 3D. You get to go down different corridors into different rooms and explore the castle, and full 3D would be amazing. Or maybe the Great Cave. Remember the Great Cave from Superstar? What if we actually got to explore that? But, hear me out, in 3D. That would be amazing, having different secrets and stuff hidden among the cave. You find different corridors and crevices. Or maybe, once again, the sky world slash clouds that we always get in Kirby games. I would love to explore up in the clouds, but in a 3D space. I think that would be cool as well. We now have Elflin at our hand, and maybe Elflin comes back in the next game. And something I thought that would be really cool is if we traveled, like, different universes. We've seen, kind of, robotic taking over world. We've seen a lost land of civilization. What if we saw something that was, like, in different realms and kind Kind of like a more magical style of Kirby. That'd be really cool, just like the Dreamscape from Super Kirby Clash. I would love to see something go along those paths a little bit. To me, it felt like Kirby Star Allies was trying to be the cultivation of all things past of Kirby brought together in one final 2D Kirby game before moving on to 3D with Forgotten Land, and that's why they had all the dream friends and stuff from past games, but I think they were missing one important element. It was just mechanics and stages and actually elements from those past games. So, with Elphalyn obviously being able to travel the multiverse in different realms with his new, you know, rift dimension capabilities, what if we're able to actually travel through past elements of Kirby's life? Almost like a Kirby Generations game, where maybe you get to be different versions of Kirby depending on what time period you're in. Maybe there's like an all black and white stage that's in 3D as well. That would be really cool and you'll have different abilities and stuff based on which world that you're in. You'll fight, you know, familiar bosses, bosses that you've seen in the past, and also have mechanics like maybe Hypernova Kirby and also these super abilities, and maybe even the Robobot army appears once again. That would be really cool. Um, but maybe something with like the main antagonist being able to travel through you know gates of time and you have to chase him you know chase him back through the past and maybe even through the future or something that'd be really cool i would love to see something like that now this is probably one of the only games that i won't complain about the final antagonist or the main villain of this game because let's face it it's going to be something crazy and i love it every single time king ddd is you know kind of like a friend now to kirby and kirby doesn't have a set villain it's like a different villain every time and I love that. It's not like Bowser every time for Mario. We get to see some crazy threats actually threaten Dreamland every time. So I know they're going to come up with some type of monstrosity that maybe even ties in the lore of all the games once again. Kind of the way Fecto Elphilus does in a way. Because it leaves tons of lore on the table. And I love that. So really no complaint. No really question here. We're probably going to get something crazy regardless. And then finally just let us play with another character. It'd be really cool to play with Meta Knight and King DDD again. We have Bandana D here so they're close. And there is technically copy abilities that resemble King DDD and also resemble Meta Knight with Meta Knight's actual sword and mask that Kirby gets to wear but 
I still would like to play as the actual characters. Maybe they have some hidden abilities like from their past games and how we actually got to play with a lot of these characters in their own separate modes. Maybe something like that would be really cool. But once again, I'll leave it up to you guys. What do you want to see out of the next big Kirby game to come to the Switch or the future consoles? Do you think they're going to go with the same formula? Do you think they're going to go bigger and broader, like more open world and more sandbox style? Or are they going to go back to the 2D style and try something with that again? Let me know what you think down below and give me your ideas too. Maybe I'll make some future videos about what the next future Kirby games could actually look like. But thank you so much for tuning in. Like the video if you enjoyed and subscribe to stay up to date on all things Kirby and Nintendo in general. And I will see you all on the next one. See you guys.